Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 50 some days away from its official release by Disney, Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, and even creator George Lucas that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film, at the end of the day, is going to be a revelation film answering many of the burning questions from The Force Awakens, while at the same exact time we'll be creating brand new questions at the very beginning of this movie that will ultimately be answered at the very end of episode 9 by JJ so that's another thing to look forward to for sure and the fact that JJ is introducing all new elements of Jedi Sith and Force lore to really benefit the characters of Rey and Kylo sounds very ambitious of Abrams in order to create a very unique story now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9 involving Ezra Bridger. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Rey is said to be heading into the Lost City, where she is said to come across the Land of Warriors, which is said to be a place full of Jedi ruins and artifacts. It's described that one of the sequences is said to involve a moment in which Rey comes across the very center of the ruins, where she begins to examine the statue of Ezra Bridger. It's described that Ezra's statue stands around 50 feet high, where strange writing is said to be etched into the stone, where it translates to the savior of the unknown. It's described that Rey briefly goes inside of Ezra's statue and discovers many relics that he left behind many years ago, one of which is said to be his very own holocron that is in the shape of a cube and glows in a blue hue that Rey collects in her backpack. Additionally, Rey comes across Ezra's journal that holds many secrets about the unknown regions and that she will use as a supplement to discover the hyperspace route to get there before she discovers Palpatine's Wayfinder device. Now, it's explained that in the journal, it explains that Ezra survived the jump to hyperspace from Rebel Season 4 and ended up on a world close to the beyond, where it took him years to escape. It's explained that Anakin's Force Ghost offered Ezra guidance to escape the beyond and return to the mid-rim of the galaxy, where he has never been seen since. So let's go over a couple of parts about all of this because obviously this is exciting stuff and material that's going to really fill in the gaps in between episodes 6 and 7 and so on and so forth. Now. The thing about the rise of Skywalker is that this also makes a lot of sense as to why J.J. Abrams had a lot of discussions with Dave Filoni while he was writing the movie and shooting the film. By the way, in case you guys have no idea, Dave Filoni is the showrunner of Star Wars Rebels, you know, the creator of all our favorite characters in Rebels, you know, seasons one, two, three, four, etc., and even the Clone Wars. And that's what I love about Filoni is that he loves the Jedi, Sith, and Forest lore, and you can really see why J.J. turned the Filoni in order to gain more knowledge about that lore that was actually pretty much introduced you know years ago to the Star Wars fans that is now part of the Disney canon. Now what I like about this particular scene is that Rey comes across Ezra Bridger's statue that is actually dubbed as the Savior of the Unknown. Now we went over this months ago and the Savior of the Unknown is actually said to be a story or a tale if you will of Ezra Bridger freeing a specific world or a city on a specific world over in the unknown regions and that's exactly why his statue is referred to that. But the thing that really gets me about all of this is that Ezra Bridger left his holocron behind inside of his very own statue that were created by the Force Renovators. Now the Force Renovators, in case you guys have no clue, are the basic beings, if you will, that actually build the Jedi ruins. They keep them together. They keep them pretty much intact, or at least once did, before they left the Lost City and even built all the different structures and the statues, you name it. So, the thing about Ezra Bridger is that we do know that we will be learning more about him in 2020 regardless. New lore is actually going to be introduced by Disney and Lucasfilm that's going to make us understand more about Ezra's life after the events of, of course, Star Wars Rebels Season 4. But apart from all of that, in The Rise of Skywalker, there will be breadcrumbs here and there that's going to really un make us understand more about Ezra's life after the events of, of course, Star Wars Rebels Season 4 and his jump to hyperspace to the unknown regions where in my point of view obviously if Ezra survived then Thrawn survived as well 
Now, like we went over months ago, there are going to be Easter eggs in this film surrounding Grand Admiral Thrawn, and that J.J. Abrams is going to be using this movie as a foundation to create something new, which is also very ambitious of him to do something to that extent. And let's not forget here that Ezra Bridger, you know, really is one of the fan favorite characters. I don't know if you guys watch Rebels, but I do suggest that you guys go ahead and check it out. It's a great animated TV series where it does tie directly into other aspects of the Force, the Jedi, and the Sith in ways that you would have really never seen in a live-action Star Wars film. And the fact that that's going to be a part of Episode 9 really is a big deal and a step in the right direction by Disney. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.